Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and in today's video, we are going to be sampling this perfume right here. This is BDK's Gris Chanel. You guys, I am so excited to be sampling this perfume right now. First of all, I'm aggravated because I was almost done recording this video. It was literally like six minutes in, almost done because I'm trying to keep them short. And my SD card did something funky, wiped the, all the footage. So I'm starting over. But anyways, I'm gonna try to, and I had some good stuff in there that I know I'm not gonna remember saying. But anyways, we're back and we're talking about, like I said, Gris Charnel. First off, I wanna start by saying that this fragrance is not blind by friendly. You do not buy this fragrance for someone who is just starting out. I would not buy this fragrance for someone who has a full designer collection. I would not buy this fragrance for someone who has a full designer collection and they're just trying to put their toe out into other different houses. I would not buy this for someone as a gift at all, to be honest with you, unless they had a wide open nose like I do. And by that, I mean, in my collection, I have, I feel like a range of different types of scents. I have niche, I have designer, and from one day to the next, you don't know if I'm gonna smell powdery, fruity, floral, masculine, like, because I love fragrance. This is a unisex fragrance. It leans more masculine to me. It leans a lot masculine, actually. And that's why I feel like I like it. Main accords start with woody and spicy. So we got woody, spicy, aromatic, powdery, fruity, sweet, Irish, earthy, green, and vanilla. You can definitely smell a lot of that there. The woody and warm spicy, yes. Absolutely powdery, yes. The fruity, sweet, very minimal to my nose. I can tell it's there, but the warm, spicy, the woody, the earthy, and the green, is that is what I pick up on. Let's go with the notes. The top notes are cardamom, fig, and black tea. Middle notes are iris, bourbon vetiver. Base notes are sandalwood and tonka, tonka bean. I'm used to fragrances that have sandalwood and tonka bean. Um, the bourbon vetiver, yes. Cardamom, yes, but I think this is the first fragrance that I have that actually has fig and black tea in it. Now, one thing I do want to say about this fragrance is this is one of the fragrances I feel like that when people first smell it initially, that they'll write it off and be like, oh, I don't like that. You can't do that with uh, Gris Chanel because when I, and I say that because when I first smelled it, I'm not one to write things off, but I was like, on clean skin, freshly, I had taken a shower, I hadn't put anything on my arm, and I kind of wet my arm with the fragrance, the little stick that comes in there, because I have this, I have this small one. Because on fragrances like this, um, I, I like to sample different ones to add to my list. And so this is one that I just needed to get my nose on because they don't sell this here. So I did add this to my list, but I don't buy the bigger ones because I'm just sampling them at this point. <laughs> Goodness. And like I said, I just needed to get my nose on it so that I could see whether or not I would like it to get the bigger bottle. So I put this on and like I said, I made sure my the section on my arm was very wet and I gave it a few hours. And the dry down on this fragrance is the reason why it made it from this little sample to the list in my phone. I have a perfume list in my phone, don't we all? But that is the reason it made it to that list because it, dry down so nice you guys i was i had two things i had one on this arm and i have another bdk fragrance that we're going to review another day i had that one on this arm and as i'm moving i'm like which one of these oh my god oh my god it smells so good the other one i didn't put on as much because i wanted to see them separate i didn't want both of them to be strong they both smell really good i was pleased with both but this was the uh, Gris Chanel was the one that I was questioning. The other one, I was like, as soon as I smelled, I was like, okay, I like this. This is a normal fragrance, I feel like, for myself. But this one was like, oh my God, this smells amazing. And it took for me to let it do its thing and go through the, um, the different levels of the notes and get down to the base notes and the dry down 
and I absolutely love it. But again, like I said, this is not a safe blind buy. This is not something you want to start your collection with, I don't feel like, um, because it is it is a heavy hitting type of fragrance. It is not a, I just, like I said, I just started my perfume collection. I'm just going to dive in. I don't feel like you should do that with this one. Now, if you have an extensive collection and you have a wide, I say a wide nose, if you have a wide nose like I do, then I feel like you would probably be safe buying this, but you have to enjoy unisex fragrances and you have to enjoy unisex fragrances that lean masculine because this one definitely leans masculine. Um, this is a pantsuit fragrance. <laughs> this is not, I got on my little black dress type of fragrance. This is, I'm wearing a pantsuit. I mean business. I want y'all to see me and I want y'all to smell me before I get there. I'm here. Did you know I was coming? That is what this fragrance is. I'm here. Oh, Nadia is here. You can smell her. Oh, Nadia, I knew you were here. I can smell you. I know that that scent that's in the air is you. That is what this fragrance, I keep doing this because it's in this hand and I know if I don't keep it closed, I'll drop it. And then it's on the back of my hand right here. That is what this fragrance is. You guys, it was not love at first sniff. It wasn't hate at first sniff either. It was, okay, I have so many questions. I need to give it a chance and let it dry down. But once it dried down, all of my questions went away. It's like, I get it now. Like, this is really nice. This is a heavy fragrance. Um, so if you have a soft nose, if you like soft, delicate, smooth, lightly crafted fragrances, this is not for you. Oh, I popped my neck. That feels so good. But I love it. This is my type of fragrance. This is my taste. Y'all know Peyton Charles. Y'all know, I, I imagine that Peyton would love this too because of her scent palette also. Like she likes masculine fragrances also. And I feel like we have a lot in common when it comes to perfumes. Like most women do not like masculine or unisex fragrances. I love them or whatever because they smell good. I don't, I don't have to smell feminine all the time. To me, there's a time and a place when I will. Most of the time I will smell like a woman, but there are times that I'll sprinkle in a little unisex or sprinkle in, there's a lot of times I'll sprinkle in a little unisex, but there's a, other times I'll sprinkle in a little cologne that is strictly supposed to be for men. But to me, when it's sweet enough, I feel like I can pull it off, okay? But yeah, you guys, so like I said, this is definitely a thumbs up for me. I really like it. I add, like I said, I added it to my list for me to buy a bigger, like a full size bottle of it. But again, I do not think that this is blind by safe. We're going to end in a few seconds, but I want to give you guys the pros and the cons that they say on this fragrance. So the pros, smooth and complex scent, definitely. Um, well composed and versatile, professional and clean vibe. The cons, might not be suitable for layering with other sweet scents. I don't, I, I agree with that. I really... If I layered this with anything, I really don't think I would mess with this a lot, to be honest with you. I feel like I would kind of wear this. I don't know. Y'all know me. I'll play with it eventually, but <laughs> uh, also cons may smell too masculine for some individuals, not worth the hype for some individuals. I mean, I guess I agree because I just don't see everybody enjoying this fragrance because it is not a crowd pleasing scent. It's just not. I would love to say that it is, but it's not. It's a great scent for me and people that have tastes similar to mine. It's, you have to like unisex and you, like masculine leaning scents because it definitely, it just, it smells like straight cologne with a splash of vanilla. <laughs> but I love it, you guys. Okay. So if y'all were curious, like I was, you can, I want to say this sample was like $4.99 for this one. And I got my sample from scentsplit.com. Um, okay. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me the sparkle sparkle down below in the comments for a little sprinkle that we were going to do. <laughs> yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this perfume or this fragrance down below in the comments. If you have this or you have sampled this, let me know what you think about it in the comments because I know this one is not going to be an easy reach for a lot of people. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.